compare what we're doing now with what we were doing uh, 10 years ago, I've seen, I think we have multiplied by uh, three the number of renal ablation uh, uh, comparatively. Um, also, we, there is a qualitative change in our procedures. Uh, at the very beginning, most intervention radiologists were using uh, radio frequency ablation. And now I think that this, uh, the trend is to go slightly toward microwave, but uh, mostly uh, toward cryo. But cryo is a big winner of uh, renal ablation. In every case, the typical indication must be validated by a tumor board. And uh, before taking a final decision, we need to do biopsy. And I expect a lot from uh, biopsy. I think in the future, we'll get biological marker, which will warrant the success for ablation or even a partial nephrectomy. Fortunately, good patients for ablation are also good patients for a partial nephrectomy. And unfortunately, again, there are no published states for, for decision. And the international resist should not treat only the patients that uh, the surgeon refused to operate. And uh, when deciding to ablate the tumor, what to, the, I think the key of success is to anticipate satisfactory ablative margins. I think that ablative margins are very important to uh, take the right decision. Okay, I'm convinced that uh, in, in 10 years, the percutaneous uh, ablation will be the standard of care for small peripheral renal tumors. I'm very convinced about uh, this. The problem with that is we will, uh, have, we will be offered the possibility to treat patients with bigger tumors, patients with comorbidities, patients with uh, obesity, and this bigger tumor will require, uh, we will have to pay a lot of attention to this tumor because we have to pay attention to the surrounding structure to protect the surrounding organs, but, but also to get uh, rid of the heat sinks or cold sink uh, effects. And for this, we will have to combine ablation with other techniques, for instance, pre procedural mobilization or intraprocedural uh, uh, vascular occlusion, for instance, with a value. I think that the wind blows in the right direction. The renal tumor incidence is increasing. The uh, incidence of chronic kidney disease is increasing. The incidence of obesity is increasing. The patient age of a uh, patient age of diagnosis is increasing. So definitely there is uh, the market is here and there is a shift uh, toward uh, less invasive therapies in, in renal consultation.